Hello everybody, Mr. Bright Guy here for another session of uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon R Rescue Team Deluxe. So a couple of pointers. For starters, I actually did manage to complete the Waterfall Ponds dungeon, the one that had the menacing Mega Gyarados that was down there that we got completely destroyed on. And I actually did manage to uh, beat the dungeon, and the last floor of that dungeon, which is floor 19, I do believe, you get something that's called an Evolution Crystal, the one that I was talking about in last session, that there are four dungeons in the entire game that has these crystals at the end of the dungeon, as well as a deluxe box. So I got like two after each completion of that dungeon. And there's another dungeon that gets like four, I do believe, or five, if it's like the bigger dungeons. So now we're finally able to evolve our Skitty into a Delcaddy and actually make her fucking stronger this time because every time I try to go to the Makuhita Dojo with this Pokemon, like she gets instantly murdered by Beedrills with their like twin needle attacks, especially with that special defense that low. I can understand why. But now we'll be able to do that. So uh, you lose your team scarf, sure. And there you have it. We have both our main characters fully evolved. So now we should be able to tackle on a couple of more dungeons now, now that we're stronger. And uh, I think... Yeah, I, I, I think I managed to have my Swampert learn Earthquake, and my god, Earthquake is probably so broken. <laughs> it's definitely so broken. Not to mention... You know what I should have done in that recording session when I tried to get Moltres and also clear that dungeon? Uh, where is he? Remember how we got Zapdos recruited? He has Discharge. And that would have helped me a lot uh, going through that dungeon. I think the camera just got darker. Um, yeah, that would have helped me through that dungeon entirely with that Discharge. And he also has Ancient Power, which is actually good against Moltres, so... I have him as a third member of my main party. I still can't believe there's a purple Kecleon without anybody, like, establishing it in later games. And you sell TMs, okay. I think there was a TM that I wanted to have. Oh yeah, I think it was Blizzard, but I don't think that would be good enough for Swampert because he's more of a physical attacker and an Earthquake is, like, pretty damn broken. Alright. I think we're probably ready to do some jobs while we're uh, upgrading our ranks. I think, yeah, I'm at Platinum rank right now. Once I get to Diamonds, I'm gonna get the Weavile statue. Oh yeah, and there's also the Howling Forest. Well, why don't I just do that instead? I'll go to the Howling Forest and help out with uh, Smeargle. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I kind of over-exaggerated on my uh, take on the Season 9 patches of Overwatch 2. But even so, like, I still wanted to uninstall the game, because, like, there was probably no point in getting back into the game unless I, like, you know probably wait for the PvE missions to come. Which, which is what I said, like it's probably hardly ever gonna happen again after they just let go of the narrative team, which is stupid. But yes, I, I had some complaints about the Junkrat notes. Oh, wow. Yeah, see what I mean? He's using like Discharge and it fills up the entire room. All right, cool. Um, I I meant when I said about the complaints with Junkrat being like little to useless now. 
I think they really just wanted to get rid of his one-shot combo, which is probably the most thing that was actually the most fun out of that character. Like, you were able to, like, you were able to, like, one-shot and air-shot people and actually get value out of it. Or, not really one-shot, you don't one-shot with Junkrat unless you're pocketed. And so, I guess according to Mercy players, nobody wants to pocket a Junkrat. But anyways, um... Like, now that they took that out, like, it... It defeats the whole purpose of, like, him actually getting value and getting kills easily with this character. Because he's so... He's like a glass cannon, and nobody believes me in that. He's a glass cannon with high, or like, um, like inconsistency and survivability. Like a lot of characters counter him. Uh, like a lot of characters counter this character with ease. Like hit scans or tanks, even supports now. Even supports just dunk on him, and it's so annoying. But now it's like, they took that out. And that just, that would literally just leave Junkrat's gameplay to just spamming nades through choke. Which is what most of the Overwatch community complains about him being the most annoying character for. <sighs> like, it just frustrates me how like, like, think of it this way. I, I think I mostly spammed with Junkrat just because I wanted to get some ult charge and even have as, like, have a decency of value without people yelling at my ears saying, like, can we get some kills, please? Or, like, can we get a hit scan? And people would just complain, like, oh, spamming Junkrat it, or like spamming nades with Junkrat is so brain dead and cancerous. And yes, emphasis on the word cancer. But now with Season 9's patch notes, that makes it even more noticeable. Like you can't do nothing without spam now. And that just makes it even worse for others. Like, I under- I do understand that, like, removing one-shots is good and healthy for the game. Because people want to survive more, especially getting- from, like, getting headshotted by Hanzo. Or, like, getting two-shotted by Farah, Which still exists, by the way, even if they got, like, a health increase. It's still two-shot with Pharmacy. Which is so stupid. But to be completely honest, even though I've, like, uninstalled the game, I- I'm so, like, tempted. I'm so fucking tempted to just go back in there. And the- like, I would just play quick play, or even, like, comp if I want to. And just spam. Like, I would just... Stay behind- stay behind my team and just spam. And if people complain about me doing that, then too fucking bad. You fucking asked for it. Yeah, like, I would go into comp and I would just spam behind and I would actually get kills. And if I hear at least one complaint being like, oh, it's such a brain dead hero, I would just frame one, just yell at them like, hey, you called us cancerous for this character for years. You fucking asked for it for removing our one-shot combos. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that game anymore. I would wanna play again just to spite everybody that called us cancer in the first place. And brain dead. I, I should have mentioned that in the tweet. I should have mentioned brain dead. But still. It's what apparently the Overwatch dev team wanted. And that's what they're gonna get. But it might be something else, though. It might be something else that they're removing one-shot combos. 
that if they are actually going to see that Junkrat is useless without, like, getting, like, no kills or even a win rate, like, a good win rate past, like, Platinum, or probably, uh, probably being generous now, Diamond, then there's a problem with the character, and they might actually try and rework him in the future. They might actually do that in the future. Maybe that's why they're, uh, like, buffing up the HP pools and also removing one-shots. That, I think that was what the whole patch was about. Because they, not only did they decrease Junkrat's projectile size, but they also in apparently increased the hitbox of the characters. Is what I missed, at, is what I missed talking about in the notes. I was like, oh, wait. You can hit easier, but you're not even you're not even gonna tell if you actually hit them or not visually, but it looks like you hit them. So I guess it counts. It's gonna be so confusing this rank. Or it's gonna be so confusing this season. And I don't quite understand why they did that, but like, uh, the meta is just changing every time, and we're gonna, just gonna have to deal with it. I just get, like, mixed emotions about all that, and... Seeing how much everybody was, like, praising it on Twitter... Even to go as to, like, send death threats to someone who plays Junkrat on Twitter... It was a good thing that he got... Got removed from, uh not following the violations of Twitter. But still, that's... That's actually a fucking problem. Like, holy shit, man. Like, it's hard for us out here. Oh, I've lost my bearings. Where is this? I can't get out. I'm hungry. I am in trouble. Oh, you are. Did you maybe come to rescue me? Am I glad to see you? So they just go, you? No hesitation. They just didn't want to talk to us here. But we did find Smeargle. And we got Poochiena. Welcome to the company. Thank you so much, you saved me from great peril. No problem, Smeargle. But what made you run away in the first place? Your letter said something about not wanting to get sticky. That is... Oh! Look, there he is! Yeah, I see him. We've got to get him back quick. More Smeargle? Two of them? Hey, Smeargle. What do they want? They're... My friends. Now come with us. The sticky ritual is ready for you. Quit fighting this. Have the paw prints applied without a fuss. No! If I have to get those paw prints all over me, I'll get all gross and sticky. What was that? What sticky ritual? It's a ritual among us, Smeargle. We mark each other all over with our paw prints. And we take our front paws and stamp each other all over. Anything more than a single paw print would be unbearably uncool. And kind of weird. <laughs> what kind of ritual is this? I have dreams of creating great art, so I have certain standards for design that I swear by. Like, AI. <laughs> I know. I have decided. I shall join Brian's rescue team. I will participate in your rescue activities. I will do my best to rescue others, and I won't take part in that nasty ritual. Sorry, not sorry. Is that so? Then there is nothing we can do. 
We'll let everyone know about your decision. We wish you luck in your new career as a rescuer. <laughs> well, that was easy. Also, fuck AI. Oh, wow. That's one pushy way of getting a job. Well, that's okay. You're on the team now. We expect your best, Smeargle. Yes, thank you. Merci beaucoup. One thing I'm good at is drawing and painting. For example, let me see. Ah, how about that? Observe the design of that flag. I could perhaps redesign the flag? If you wish to alter the flag's design, call me anytime. Hey, let's go. I will find my own place in the sky blue plains, but... Oh, come on over right away if you wave a, uh, wave the flag. Yeah, what kind of, uh, what kind of flags designs do we get to change here? Yeah, we are now a uh, fully evolved team now. Alright, so let's see... Yeah, we'll wave the flag. Uh, knock, knock. Oh, wow. We got a polywag one, we got a checkerboard, we got Diglett, Mankey, whatever that is. <laughs> I have to remember, this is art. Uh, Pokeball, Pokeballs don't exist in this world. Wobbuffet, Ditto, another Pokeball, Zatu, Love Disc. That's a cute star, you. Uh, Kiss. That looks like Spinda and coughing. <laughs> sure, let's have this weird, let's have this weird looking design. All right, here we go. Vigorously paints. That's eh, better. This may sound like I'm blowing my own horn, but it's quite the art, don't you think? All right. Now we have a funny looking... Wait, it's crying. Am I looking at this right? I'll just have to say that's art. <laughs> Let's just roll with that. That's just art. It's something beautiful. It's something flamboyant. It's something extravagant. And it's there. All right. So I think the next objective now is to go to the Stormy Sea after Lombre's request. I'm still trying to find, there's supposed to be this Pokemon that appears at Town Square and I don't know if it's me like standing there for long. Or maybe it just shows up randomly. But I think right now I'm going to have to do some job requests from other dungeons. Since I've defeated the Waterfall Pond, I like to show off the other ones. Unless I really want to take on Maltrez at this point. But I also do want to, like, explore a little bit. So I think the next one I wanted to do... Oh, hang on. Let's do Solar Cave. It's got... Upgraded chests and money out of it. And we get Armaldo as a team. Or as a as an ally. Let's see how strong these places are. Now I also do wonder like if the mystery houses only appear in these kinds of dungeons. Oh, there's Drowsy. All right. Um, I do actually wonder if the mystery houses only appear in these kinds of dungeons, which means that I would probably need to go buy an invitation before I can even move on. Also, I have Swampert equipped with a band or like some like some shades so that you can actually see the traps 
before you activate them. Oh yeah. Zapdos, what could we do without you? God, I, I would have actually, I would have legit beaten Moltres last time if they didn't have Zapdos with us. But I know for a fact that I would have also should have equipped more, like sh I should have equipped with more um, uh, Reviver Seeds. Because I think I wasted a lot of it on the uh, on the Pokemon that we recruited there. Like I wasted it on Slugmas and Hitmontop. I definitely wasted it on those guys. 